Recognizing the symptoms of syphilis is crucial for early detection. Early detection can significantly improve treatment outcomes and prevent the disease from progressing to more severe stages. Keep a watchful eye for any unusual sores, rashes, or other symptoms. These signs can often be subtle and easily overlooked, but they are important indicators of your health. In the primary stage, a painless sore called a chancre appears. This sore is usually firm, round, and painless, making it easy to miss if not carefully monitored. The sore typically develops within three weeks of exposure. This timeline can vary slightly, but three weeks is a common period for the sore to become noticeable. It can last for three to six weeks and heals on its own, even without treatment. However, healing of the sore does not mean the infection has been eradicated from the body. However, this doesn't mean the infection is gone. The bacteria remain in the body and can cause further health issues if not treated. Syphilis remains and progresses to the next stage. If left untreated, the infection can advance to secondary syphilis, which has its own set of symptoms. Secondary syphilis often presents with a rash. This rash can vary in appearance, sometimes looking like rough red or reddish-brown spots. This rash is not itchy and can appear anywhere on the body including the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. It is important to note that the rash can be widespread or localized. Other symptoms include fever, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, headache, and fatigue. These symptoms can often be mistaken for other illnesses making it crucial to consider syphilis as a potential cause. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek medical attention immediately. Early intervention can prevent the disease from causing more serious health problems. Early diagnosis and treatment are vital to prevent long-term complications. Timely medical care can effectively manage the infection and reduce the risk of severe health issues in the future. Syphilis can be passed from a pregnant woman to her unborn baby. This is known as congenital syphilis. It can have devastating consequences for the infant. It can lead to miscarriage, stillbirth, or death soon after birth. Babies born with congenital syphilis may have various health problems. These problems include bone deformities, blindness, deafness, and intellectual disabilities. The impact of congenital syphilis on infants can be lifelong and severe. It's crucial for pregnant women to get tested for syphilis. Treatment during pregnancy can prevent transmission to the baby and ensure a healthy start to life. Protecting future generations from this preventable disease is paramount. Section 5. Who is at risk? Understanding vulnerability. Anyone who is sexually active can get syphilis. However, certain groups are at higher risk. Men who have sex with men or MSM are disproportionately affected by syphilis. People with multiple sexual partners and those who engage in unprotected sex are also at increased risk. It's crucial for individuals in these groups to get tested regularly for syphilis. Understanding your risk factors is the first step towards prevention. Open communication with your healthcare provider and regular testing are vital. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to protecting your sexual health. Section 6. Diagnosing Syphilis. Unveiling the Hidden Enemy. Diagnosing syphilis involves a combination of approaches. Your doctor will ask about your sexual history and symptoms. They will also perform a physical exam to check for any sores or rashes. Blood tests are essential for confirming the diagnosis. These tests detect antibodies that your body produces in response to the syphilis infection. In some cases, a sample of fluid from a sore or rash may be examined under a microscope. This helps identify the presence of the syphilis bacteria. Early and accurate diagnosis is crucial for timely treatment and preventing complications.